Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and uh, we're going to go through a list of uh, questions from the uh, newbies or the newcomers to the hobby that are frequent. And I've kind of went through uh, different groups and checked out a lot of the questions that I've seen and thought that uh, it could be a nice uh, thing to have videos about what I see and what is asked the most often. Uh, first of all, it's about hearing radio stations and sometimes not hearing them and wondering why one day and you don't hear it. And some people will sometimes say, hey, I was listening to you know, Radio Romania on 11620 and uh, tonight I'm trying and I'm not hearing it. I think something's wrong with the radio or the antenna. Well, there's a good chance there's no problem. Uh, the thing is, remember that shortwave radio is not like AM, FM radio or, uh, you know, DAB or local stations that you hear on the bands. They are always there. And what happens is that people think that on shortwave is going to be the same. Shortwave, because it's very long distance propagation, will be dependent on several factors. One of them is solar activity. Second, geomagnetic storming. And all sorts of other phenomena that can happen uh, around, you know, the propagation of signals. Also, seasons, um, you know, day, night, and all of that changes over the year. So it's normal. And don't think because you hear something one day, it's there the next. Sometimes it can happen that a broadcast you're listening to isn't coming in for you know a day or sometimes a few days also there's other phenomena like for example I'll, I'll give one here that i actually often have and it has to do with stations that you're listening to that might be closer to you an example here is 7490 this is wbcq WBCQ is in Monticello, Maine. It's not that far away from Montreal in a shortwave radio scale. So stations like frequencies like 7490, for example, will often not be audible. And you might say, well, I heard it really well the other day. I don't understand why I'm not hearing it now. Well, this has to do with another phenomenon called, um, you know, uh, the skip zone. When you are close to a station, it's possible that the signal actually is skipping over you. Because shortwave radio signals are skywave, they go up and, you know, they will bounce off the ionosphere. If you're in that zone where the signal's up in the ionosphere, well, you're not going to hear it. So skip zones are at different places. It could be you could be in a skip zone far away. You could be in a skip zone when you're too close to a station. So when I see people saying, well, you know, I'm really close to the station, I don't hear it. Well, particularly, that is a problem. When you're very close to a station, it often is the case that you don't hear it. Sometimes you never hear a station. I'll give an example here of CHU, 3330. CHU is roughly 100 miles from here. 3330 comes in pretty much 24 hours because of the ground wave I'm getting. And one that is a, you know, often a hit or a miss is 7850, a little bit like WBCQ. I hear it a little bit right now. Sometimes I hear it well, sometimes I don't. But the one I almost never hear is 14670. Because the higher the frequency, the bigger the skip zone. And here, I'm in the skip zone. I've heard it really well once because of unusual propagation but I'm not hearing it pretty much 99% of the time as I am in the skip zone so you have to be further away to get it people in Florida will get it and here in Montreal I'm too close for that frequency so that is also the case dependent on the frequency that you are tuned to so just don't think that what you're here is going to always be there Shortwave is not like that. It's a very, very different phenomenon. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.